Hello to all the car cranky, vehicularly vexed, and auto agitated. It's a tough world out there full of twists and turns and bumps and potholes. And as if to capitalize on all the chaos, here comes the auto industry to make things even harder. I know it can feel difficult, chaotic, impossible even, to navigate the waters of car buying. But I promise you, it's not really that horrible. It can even be an enjoyable experience. But you know what? People have questions that need answering, and uh, one of the most common questions I get, though it comes in many different forms, uh, can usually be summed up like this. Why isn't the salesman honest with me? This question comes from an old stereotype that uh, car salesmen are notoriously dishonest. The markup on their vehicles is dishonest. The tactics for getting you to sign on the bottom line are dishonest. They're pushy. They're hiding important details about the vehicle's history. Whatever it may be. Customers feel that right from the get-go, they have to be guarded against their salesmen. And I must be honest, this reputation that salesmen have is well-deserved. We have had years of throwing underhanded tactics at customers to get what we want, and frankly, we are good at it. Well, at least we used to be. In the age of the internet, there's no secrets anymore. Gone are the days of driving from dealership to dealership, trying to get uh, one salesman to outdo the lines that you were fed by the last salesman. No, those days are long behind us. What you're looking at nowadays is much simpler. You point, you click, and you try to find the vehicle your heart desires from anywhere in the world. And you have the control over exactly when and if you ever walk into a dealership. So what does this mean for the consumer? Well, what it means is now more than ever, the power to control the kind of deal you get for your vehicle is in your hands. Salesmen are desperate to get your business, and they are employing different and frankly, more upfront tactics to earn that business. Now, yes, there are still salesmen out there that employ those age-old tactics of sly guile, misdirection, and half-truth to try to gain your business. But in modern years, car buying is a way more customer-friendly experience, and a lot more emphasis is put on customer service. Now, wait, Barry, now why do I feel like the salesman is still withholding information from me? Now, that's a valid question, which can be addressed, but maybe not in the way that you expect it to be addressed. See, if you feel like your salesman is being guarded or, or keeping information close to the chest, odds are it's because he doesn't trust you. Why, why wouldn't he trust me? I mean, I don't have anything to hide. Oh, really? You know, one of the big problems that salesmen have to face today is the fact that people don't really trust them. You know, some of that's due to stereotyping. Some of it's justified, like we've talked about. But whether it's justified or not, it doesn't change the fact that customers that feel the need to guard themselves has created an environment where salesmen feel the need to guard themselves right back. I can't tell you the number of times I've had customers lie right to my face. They'll lie about things like their budget. Suddenly we're looking at cars that are too expensive for them, or ones that don't have the features they wanted because they made it clear they couldn't afford them. Next thing you know, out of nowhere, they can. I've had customers make it clear that they don't want a certain type of vehicle, so I don't show it to them. They don't want it. Why would I waste their time showing it to them? And then what happens? They go to another dealership and buy the vehicle they didn't want. I had a customer once who was looking for an SUV for his wife. She was in poor health. She couldn't really leave the house that much. We offered to bring vehicles to her, to show her, whatever it was that she needed. There was always something wrong with the vehicle. Couldn't quite narrow down exactly what she wanted. After, I think, about three weeks, I finally found exactly the vehicle that we were looking for. I thought, this one is perfect. I called the customer to let him know. But you know what? Couldn't get a hold of him. For days it went on that I could not get a hold of him. My only thought at the time was, I think something may have finally happened to his wife. And I was terrified. Was his wife okay? Was he okay? Uh, finally, I got him on the phone. He was embarrassed to talk to me. He had assured me I was his guy. I'd been working for him for about a month. And, uh, and wouldn't you know it, he bought somewhere else. The thing that was really the kicker, the vehicle that he bought, was identical to the one I had picked out, down to the color. The fact is, customers lie to salesmen a lot. I find I spend the first half hour or more of every one of my sales just building rapport with the customer, trying to get them to let their guard down so that we can get an open dialogue going on, so we can just get to the point, which is finding them the right car. Tips for salesmen. Be straight with your customers. You know, let them know right away uh, what your insecurities are, or what your limitations are about their vehicle choices. Uh, just have good follow-up. Uh, don't lie. Say uh, what you mean, mean what you say, and uh, importantly, if you don't know, don't pretend you do. Just say so. Tip for customers. 
Be straight with your salesmen. Be honest and open about what it is you're looking for, what your limitations are. Get to it right away. Don't beat around the bush. And both sides need to have realistic expectations of what they're looking for, but uh, that's a video for another time. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch, folks. I am Barry, the Auto Mediator, and if you have any burning questions about car shopping, leave them in the comments below. I will try my hardest to get to as many of them as I can, and if I see any really pervasive questions showing up, it might just inspire the next video. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Happy buying.